اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم A construct in smart PLS may be formative or reflective. Now in this case, this is a reflective construct. And in this case, this is a formative construct. Now the estimation or waiting mode for these constructs is either mode A or mode B. Now we do not need to specify whether it is mode A or mode B in smart PLS because if we double click on the latent variable we will see indicator of waiting mode we normally keep it to automatic and that is the default now when it's automatic it is basically the automatic option uses mode a for reflective constructs and mode b for formative constructs now the difference between the waiting mode is that for reflective it is automatically mode a and for formative it is automatically mode B. You can specify it on your own by selecting mode A or mode B but we do not need to do this. In order to know more detail about what is the difference between reflective and formative there is a video on the channel and I'm going to share the link. Now moving on. The setup of the measurement model depends on whether the construct is reflective or formative. Now by default PLS SCM assumes that it is a reflective construct whereby these items are interchangeable. Now when a reflective measurement model is assumed for a construct, the indicator loadings are typically estimated through mode A. Although when a construct is reflective, you do not need to mention mode A. Now it estimates the relationship from the construct to each indicator based on a reflective measurement model that uses bivariate regression. Now this here is your dependent variable and this here the construct score this represents your independent variable because the arrow is flowing from the construct to the indicators. Now as a result we obtain correlation between the construct and its indicator that is correlation weights which become the loadings and which show how well these items are representing the underlying construct. Now in contrast to reflective measurement, the formative measurement model is assumed for a construct the indicator weights are typically estimated using multiple regression. Why multiple regression? Because these indicators are influencing this dependent variable here. More specifically, the measurement model estimation applies PLS SCM's mode B when your measurement model is formative. Now, if this is the model, you are going to use mode B, in which the constructs represents a dependent variable. Here is your dependent variable and its indicators are your independent variables. Now, these formative constructs are validated in a different way. They are specified in a different way as well. Now as a result, we obtain regression weights here and the relationship from the indicators to the construct which represent indicator weights. Now the use of mode A that is correlation weight is for reflective measurement whereas mode B is for your formative measurement. By default, it is always mode A. Now if you want a measurement model to be formative, you are going to use mode B. Now another important point is weighting scheme. Now we have seen this weighting scheme in PLS. When we are estimating a model in smart PLS, let's go to calculate PLS algorithm and here we see weighting scheme. Now there are primarily three options, centroid, factor and path. Now which scheme shall we select? We are going to focus on whether shall we select path or factor. So we have to specify the weighting scheme, the factor weighting scheme and the path weighting scheme. While the results differ little across the alternative weighting schemes, path weighting scheme is the most popular and recommended approach. This weighting scheme provides the highest R square value for the endogenous latent variable and is generally applicable for all kinds of PLS path model specification and estimations. 